Recently, I was hanging out over on an 8.6 Blackout Facebook group. You guys all know I am an 8.6 Blackout fan. I was an early adopter, one of the early reloaders. In fact, I was the first one on YouTube who had a functioning home-built 8.6 Blackout, a regular guy who ordered all the parts just like you did, assembled it, got it running and functioning. Uh, there were several other people who had videos on They were sent stuff early. I was not sent anything early. I had just a couple of thousand subscribers back then trying to do something cool with a caliber. Now, there was a couple of guys who were talking about the 8-inch and the 6-inch. No, the 8-inch and the 12-inch and their accuracy. Now, my gun right now that is currently running is a 16-inch, which barrel length... Theoretically, it has nothing to do with accuracy. Barrel length pretty much only has to do with velocity. Now, velocity could have something to do with accuracy, but barrel length directly isn't making a gun more or less accurate. But it can add to the equation. So I realized that my 16 inch over a 12 inch could potentially have an advantage. But I have a friend, you guys know Carl, he has an eight inch and he's not really complaining about his accuracy. I've shot with him several times out past 100 yards and we're not having any trouble hitting what we're aiming at. With that being said, I have a group here in front of you, and I'm gonna tell you what happened on this. Now, I had stapled a hand warmer on here. This is how we were dialing in our fusion thermal optic. I'm going to mention again in a different video about my experience with zeroing a thermal optic. I know that that has been, people have wasted hundreds of rounds fooling with these. These, this is how many shots I shot. One, two, three, four, five. And I had a zeroed optic. We'll talk more about that later. We have several features here in this that we'll need to go into more in depth on. So I mounted the optic on, tried to get it in a spot that I thought would feel good, went out to the range, fired my first shot. We had our hand warmer on here. I guess I should maybe draw like a little, that way you guys kind of know where the hand warmer was. This one was outside of the hand warmer and this one was in the hand warmer. So I think our hand warmer was something about in that area. I remember that my very first shot was not hitting the packet. So fresh, you know, fresh mount, no zero. There's no, you, you know, bore sight, none of that. We just mounted the thing on, took a shot. Here's where we landed. So we made an adjustment. Uh, we came over and down a little bit. So we made an adjustment. We came over and down and I went a little bit too far and we shot over here. So these were both a one shot group and a one shot group. I made my correction. At this point, my packet had kind of shifted a little bit. All the insides come out whenever you shoot them. And so I feel like it's difficult to know exactly where I was aiming. Cause you know, when you're looking through a thermal, it's not like looking through a regular optic. But we'll talk about that later in the thermal video. But I want to show you that once I shot here and here, I made my final correction and my packet was kind of shifted over a little bit. And I shot a three shot group with 8.6 blackout and all three of those guys are touching. And this is at 50 yards. Now, I guess we, we're talking about accuracy. Let's get our calipers out. I guess I didn't realize that people were having trouble with 8.6 blackout accuracy. Now those are big giant bullets. You know, I'm just gonna go to the center of the hole and the center of the hole at 50 yards, we're running a 0.4 group. Now, I, this wasn't particularly impressive to me. I've shot this with 8.6 blackout before um, with supersonics though. I've only recently started exploring the subsonic because we just got our suppressor in. So with supersonics, I got no problem. This is a great group for me. I've, I've been shooting, I can shoot this at 50 and a little larger at 100 without a problem. I wasn't worried about the accuracy. But now that I have the suppressor on there and I'm shooting these 288, 300, and 350 bullets, people are saying that the accuracy is a problem. Well, this is a 288 factory bullet from Gorilla, and I've got three shots touching, and I'm inside of a half of an inch, which would go to like a point, you know, point eight at 100 yards. Um, I don't think that's. I think that's perfectly acceptable accuracy to hunt with. I don't know why people are having a hard time. Um, getting any accuracy. I mean, there's people saying, oh, Faxon's terrible. And I mean, the broad side of a barn. I, I, don't, I, was, I didn't get it. I was really shocked to see people saying that. Uh, I guess my experience has been that it's a relatively, relatively accurate. I mean, you're, 
spinning something at five, 600,000 RPM and it weighs 300 grains and it's coming out of a eight inch barrel. I mean, uh, it's probably not going to be the most accurate cartridge, but that's not what his job is. Um, this is consistency. I'm happy with this. I'll take that hunting any day and super fun round to shoot, super quiet. I don't know what else you're looking for. Um, I, I'm sold on the caliber, but you guys already knew that. Um, I don't make any money from 8.6 blackout or from Q or any of that. I'm not like, this is all just my own research and spending my own money on, on, you know, on the, on the eight, six guns. And, uh, I just, I just thought it was really cool. and wanted to be involved in it. And now I'm pretty involved in it and I'm getting pretty decent accuracy. So anyway, let me know what your experience has been. I don't know if this is founded or unfounded. I would love, I'm gonna get my, as soon as I get my form one in, we'll be able to build our eight inch barrel and we'll figure out what sort of accuracy it is. It's actually the one that's designed to have the suppressor. Right now I'm shooting a 16 inch suppress, which is a pretty big gun. I'm not really getting my full advantage out of the small compact size, but we'll work on that soon. Make sure you're subscribed, more 8.6 blackout to come. If you want an 8.6 blackout sticker, I've got over at Eagle Run 23. Limited supply, I just resupplied these. Uh, we sold out pretty quick last time, so there's a couple of them on there. If you see it, grab it, and make sure you're signed up for the giveaway, because I'm giving away a fax and barrel. You can win yourself an 8.6 blackout barrel or any caliber of your choice. AR-10, AR-15, whatever. Faxon's got it in stock, and you want it, and you win, I'll order it and send it to you. You also could get a lower polymer lower receiver from Tennessee Arms. So big stuff going on over on the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you next time.